Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyJS Electronics and today we're going to continue with IMO Jaguar Cup 3A drive where we're going to set that drive up in remote control using 2 wire and 3 wire control and in any, way, in any case you have missed the last video where we commissioned the drive, factory reset and explore more in uh, uh, commissioning and uh, running a local mode that video is going to be in the description below also all the manuals and any other related uh, things or information that I think could help you in any way also going to be in the description below so definitely check it out so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we go, so first station is uh, set up and it's gonna look like a so pretty much Oop. like that. So we're gonna have a, uh, a emergency stop, which is basically as like a quick stop if you're not using any external systems uh, uh, to shut it down, it will it will do that internally within a drive. Uh, let's zoom back in. There was a run forward, run uh, uh, in uh, reverse, and we are also going to implement a jog button, and then we have a speed controller. The potentiometer for this uh, system it is a to uh, between one and uh, five kilo ohms. So we're going to be using this type of potentiometer today because I don't have a uh, two point two kilowatt one, a kilo ohm one for the for the existing uh, station for at uh, this uh, stage. So when it comes down to a wiring, uh, let me just grab that. Uh, so here is we we have a uh, a bank of a uh, five normal opening switches. So we got power coming here in the bottom in this one, and then, and then from there on it, carry, it carries on and goes all the way to X two in a terminal a terminal down ooh, a terminal down here. So that one is being pre-programmed to be as a as, as a uh, quick stop. So uh, let's go a bit closer. So and then it carries on. So it sort of powers up all the, all the all the switches down here. And then we're gonna also run forwards, run reverse. And then we have a jog button which is pre-programmed. We're gonna show that in a minute. Where to the X1 where we program that in. And also a jog button will require a run signal. So it is being wired to a, a reverse. That's as close as I can get. But you can you can jog forwards or reverse is up to you. Just make sure the second button in here, as you can see, this button in here is uh, when it's pushed, this activates one of, one of the run or run reverse or run uh, uh, in uh, forwards option together with a jog function. So basically, those are those, and also these two goes uh, one goes for uh, for the forwards and one goes for the reverse. So that's regarding when it comes down to wiring and potentiometer is wired in an 11, 12, and a 13, and also I'm using a uh, uh, Siemens potentiometer for it this time. So when it comes down to programming, there's a couple of things that we need uh, to change. And first one, we need to make sure our uh, uh, run signal, run frequency, it is coming from the, the terminals down here and it's set to voltage. So keep clicking that. So to do that, you need to go to the F, keep doing that, to the F1. And when you are in F1 mode, you need to make sure that it's selected to one. So that will be basically will be reading the voltage inputs uh, in terminal 12. So we make sure that is selected for a voltage potentiometer. So and the next one as well is going to be a run signal, which are, needs to be selected to one as well. So make sure that is the case. So is able to read the information from terminals here in front and when it comes down to jogging uh, jog we are actually going to go to a uh, uh, one of the input programming and let me just get to the right page which one was it and the one we're going to be pre we programmed is the x1 so uh where's the page down there so, give you. so to, to program the inputs you need to go to the ease and let's uh, leave that one. Let's go to the E's. And in here, in here, E1, E2, and E3 will be designated, uh, designated for X1, X2, and X3. And uh, if you go in the manual, uh, paragraph 5.5, five, uh, you should be able to see what sort of options can you select. Uh, I can't show you the page because it's so blurred out. The manual is just not very friendly. 
uh, when it comes down to uh, really understanding what is what. So, uh, but for the jog, you need to select, because uh, we are uh, using X1, you can use X2 or X3 if you wish to, you can even run, uh, use the runs and things like that. All of them are highly programmable and check out the manual, what options do you have? And there's approximately 10 to 12 options that you can have. And the one we are selecting in uh, X1, as you can see, I edited 10 and 10 stands for ready for jogging. So, uh, so to make sure that is in there and regarding when it comes down to acceleration and frequency for the jog is uh, it's just uh, and that's uh, the frequency for the jog is in C20 and let's go to 20 show you quickly so in the C, uh, look at that as I select a 7 hertz so we'll make sure that is uh, in there as default that stands at zero and on the when it comes oops, when it comes down to actual frequent, there's actually acceleration, the acceleration for the uh, jog, and that will be in a H54. And make sure that if you want, oh no, nope, where are we? So H and H54. In here, you can select what sort of a uh, jog frequency you can have. I'll put it in a 0 0.01. For the time being, so yeah, this is where you adjust the, your jog frequency. And that, the, having done that, that's pretty much it. Will get you going on this type of station. So let me put the cover on, and we'll go from there. There we go. The cover is on. So let me just get the, get much more in the, in the system. So uh, run forwards, and then we have this potentiometer and down the bottom in here. So that's for the run forwards, that's how it's going to work. And then you will have the same when it goes in reverse and then on the jog, as you can see, when you are in a jog mode, it will actually tell you on the screen, you are in a jog. So, uh, and that's pretty much how to set up this kind of setup. And the next one we're going to be looking at, which is a three wire control. So let's get to it. And as for the three wire control, we have uh, made a little small changes for it. So uh, we added the stop button. So let me show you the station. So this is what it's uh, going to look like on the station. Here we zoom in, zoom in. Here we go. So that's uh, stop, start, run forward, run reverse, and obviously potentiometer, which is at, at this at this stage it is external because uh, it requires a two uh, requires a anything below uh, uh, 5 kilo ohms, uh, from 1 till 5 kilo ohms, I don't have anything like that uh, regarding this module, but we are using a Siemens one, which is a 2.2 kilo ohm as well. So before I show you the wiring, I'll quickly show you the one parameter we have changed. We have removed, the, we kept the quick stop, which is an X, uh, X2, but we have removed the jog, uh, but if you do still want to have a jog, that's no problem because you still have one more input left in there, which is you can do that on X3, but we have removed from this station and we have programmed in the stop button into X1. Uh, if you go back to E and E1 is for the X1. So in there we have selected option six and option six is pretty much uh, says that that is a stop button for three wire control. So that's the only thing we have changed for when it comes down to a uh, setting up this station up and when it comes down to a wiring. So in the wiring, let's just zoom this in properly. Come yeah, on. Here we go. So for wiring, we have a normally open contact which uh, power comes to normal open ground. From there on it goes to X2 for the quick stop. Then it goes into the stop button and then goes through the stop button and then the signal from uh, after the stop button goes back to X1 as a stop. Remember, be aware, this needs to be normally close contact. From there on it uh, gives the power to uh, run forward and run reverse, obviously for them to be respectively down here, but it just says run forward and run reverse. And that is pretty much how this station would be set up. So let me put the cover on and I will show you how that works. There we go, the cover is on. Let's zoom out a little bit. So, there you go. So, the way it works is, zoom in. See the motor as well. So we press start forward and it latches in and it runs the motor, you stop it. So stop it and then you run in a uh, reverse and the cool part is you can still by clicking uh, oh no you can't do this one 
So uh, here we go, you have to stop it and then you can go the other way. So, and then obviously you would have normally without a potentiometer in here, but that's your potentiometer. And uh, I'll demonstrate a quick stop. And here we go, we have been doing a quick stop. It just shuts the, shuts the motor down from the controls and, and it will stop and it, you can uh, restart it back up again. So that is pretty much how would a three wire control work. So that will be it, ladies and gentlemen, for this drives uh, two wire, three wire control and also potentiometer. I hope that it makes sense and it gets you where you want to get and uh, you are well in your way achieving your desired uh, control you are after for. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like that video, please smash that like. If you didn't dislike, uh, smash the dislike, comment below what you like, what you don't like, any questions, uh, definitely uh, uh, comment them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon and as quick as I can. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.